Hello, and welcome to Thrive Online. Have you ever been in a yoga class where the teacher says halfway lift and you're like, what the? And then you see all these people with straight arms, straight legs, barely even lifting up. Well, in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how you can work your way into what's called an Urdhva Uttanasana or a halfway lift. These are usually found in a vinyasa or sun salutation like sun A or sun B. And it can be very challenging, especially if you have longer legs and or tight hamstrings. So when you're doing a vinyasa, normally your hands come up in the air and then forward fold. The next cue is typically halfway lift. Sometimes you'll see people with their fingertips in line with their toes and their palms flat on the mat and their half lift just is a barely a lift up at all. That's okay, that comes from an Ashtanga background. And if you've got the hamstrings for it, and if you've got like a slightly longer torso compared to your legs, that's your halfway lift. I'll show it to you from this angle, where you come down, your feet are either hips width distance apart or your toes together, heels apart, fingertips in line with the toes, and then they say inhale, halfway lift, you just come up to your fingertips with your gaze looking slightly forward. So you're not cricking your neck right here, you're just looking slightly forward. But if you are like the majority of the rest of the world, your hamstrings aren't quite open enough for that and or your legs are just really long. So how do you do that same pose without causing strain? So you've got options. When they say halfway lift, you can bring your hands to your shins or you can bring your hands all the way up here on your quads. Don't really rest them here on the knees. That's not great for your knees. And honestly, what ends up happening is you lock your knees and you're pressing your locked knees back. And that's just injury waiting to happen. So instead of a halfway lift where you're bent over like this, trying to look up and arch and look, every, look everywhere, but you know, in the right place for your spine, I challenge you to try on your halfway lift to bring your hands to your shins. Your knees are straight but softened. I tend to lock my knees, so I, I kind of try to correct that with a soft, a more than soft knee. Your hands can come here to the shins or even all the way up here to the thighs. Now, look at my elbows. They're not chicken winging out. The elbows are back, and, I'm, and watch this space between my shoulder blades. It's pulling down and away from my ears while the shoulder blades come together. So you can do that here with your hands at your, your quads, belly is in, tailbone shooting straight out. You can do that same motion with your hands on your shins, shoulders back, squeezing together behind you, belly in. And then again, you can do that here, fingertips on the mat, shoulders back, bellies in, shoulders squeezing together. What we're not doing is cheerleading our butt out, so butt scooping out. We're not doing that here, and we're not doing that here. And we're also not looking so far forward that you have wrinkles in your neck, that Sharpe neck. We're looking only so far forward where the spine is an exact length. It's like a straight line. So if you had a ruler, even with the cervical spine, it would still be flat. So you're not looking up forward. You're just looking slightly in front of the toes. I'm looking about 18-ish inches in front of my toes. So let me demonstrate this. Urdhva Uttanasana, one more time. Inhale, we're going to go hands up. Exhale, we're going to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Fingertips in line with the toes. That's option number one. Bellies in, shoulders back away from the ears, squeezing together. Option number two, hands at your shins, shoulders back, squeezing together. Bellies in, don't forget, knit the ribs in. Option number three, if you've got really tight hamstrings or your back's really sore, hands at your quads, shoulders back, squeezing together, and belly in. Remember, don't lock your knees. So I tend to bend my knees a little bit more than soft just to make sure it stays that way. From here in your vinyasa, you would plant your hands and move on. But in today's tutorial, I just wanted to show you a few little modifications to make this pose be a little more accessible if you tend to have tight hamstrings or a tight low back. Thanks so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see you inside the community soon. Again, my name is Jennifer Dixon with Thrive Yoga and Wellness, and you have a great, great day. See you on the mat soon. Bye-bye.